Greenville Little Theater in Greenville, South Carolina. It's a little known hot spot for the paranormal. Multiple reports include poltergeist activity, intelligent residual voices and noises, the overwhelming sense of not being alone, people have been touched, and full and partial apparitions and shadow figures have been seen inside this location. The administration at the theater asked us to investigate in hopes of finding out what exactly, if anything, is happening in this community playhouse. Heritage Green is the current site of Greenwood Little Theater's auditorium and has been since 1967. Prior to that, Heritage Green served as the campus of Greenville Women's College from 1854 through its merger with Furman University. In 1961, the schools moved to a new campus six miles north of downtown. While the home of the Greenville Women's College, Ramsey Fine Arts Building stood at the site of the Little Theater and hosted many productions. During the Civil War, the college offered its facilities as a roadside hospital and clinic called Soldiers Rest. At this exact spot, Confederate soldiers that would be passing through town on the railroads could stop for food, rest, nursing assistance, and recovery. One report in the current building is that someone paces the catwalk like a sentry walking his post. Could this be a former Confederate soldier still watching over the property? The Pitt Greenville crew on investigation I included original members Philip Caston, Bill Lynn, Hunter Bowger, and me, Adam Burgess. We had planned to target the main auditorium, stage, and its volumes, where the female apparition of a lady walking towards the stage has been seen. Multiple eyewitnesses claim to have seen Nancy. That's the name given to the female apparition thought to be haunting this theater. Items have also been moved on the stage, as crew members have been building sets. Multiple reports of someone whispering, What are you doing? is also reported on the stage. We've also planned to investigate the seats in the theater, especially the back rows, where shadow figures have been seen walking. Also, the apparition of a man watching crews prepare the set has been spotted up there, and voices have been heard along the aisles near the back of the auditorium. The most recent accounts have occurred in the balcony area to stage right. A worker was touched and had her hair brushed from the front to the back over her shoulder up there, and another worker was engulfed by the overwhelming feeling of a presence all around him as he worked on lighting. This is also the location on the ladder that takes us up to the catwalk where we will be looking for that pacing soldier. We plan to look into the reports that the ladies dressing room light will be on in the mornings when it was clearly turned off at night before anyone left. And the reports of its door slamming closed when no one was there except the witness reporting it. Finally we're going to investigate the basement as uneasiness and scared feelings overwhelm people searching for costumes down there. We had a full agenda and experiments to attempt in order to find out what, if anything, is haunting the Greenville Little Theater.